good morning class 10 today i'm going to start with a new topic that's the cotton textile industry in my previous explanation i think i had started with the sugar industries then i discussed uh, uh, the problems the distribution to why sugar industry has been shifted from north india to south india okay so today i'm going to start with the next uh, agro based industry and that's the cotton textile industry now cotton textile industry as you know is one of the largest uh, textile industry in the world okay uh, and you know India is one of the largest uh, exporter of cotton textiles okay and cotton textile industry is one of the major industry in our country as it provides employment opportunities directly and indirectly to the people okay uh, now when I talk about the cotton textile industry one thing that you have to remember is that it has been uh, divided into uh, three sectors okay one is the power loom, hand loom and mill. Okay, please underline or uh, please remember this. The three categories of cotton textile industry is hand loom, power loom and mill. Okay, and uh, it has been found in uh, different states of our country. But the three major states where you find plenty of cotton textile industry is the state of Maharashtra, Gujarat and Tamil Nadu. Okay and uh, other states like west bengal uttar pradesh has also been there but these are the important uh, states okay and uh, handloom industry another important sector of cotton textile is as i told you it's handloom industry and handloom industry has almost been found in every states of our country okay some are smaller they are smaller in sizes some are bigger in sizes and all but almost found in different um, you know states of our country so the most important centers uh, for this industry, not the state, but the centers are Mumbai, uh, Ahmedabad, Coimbatore, Kanpur, Delhi. These are the important areas, okay, or the cities, or the important regions where you find plenty of uh, uh, cotton textile industries in a country. Okay. Now, one thing that you have to remember is that in your textbook, in the one of the paragraphs over there, the main cotton manufacturing centers, as I've told you, Maharashtra and Gujarat are the two important leading states. Okay. So, you'll find the state of Maharashtra having large number of cotton textile, but the most important center is Mumbai in Maharashtra. Another one is Gujarat and in Gujarat it is Ahmedabad. Okay. So, it's because of the larger number of cotton textile that has been found in these two states. Okay. Um, and Mumbai, the important center in Maharashtra, because of plenty of cotton textile industry, it's also known as the cotton polis of India. Okay, and <clears throat> it is also known as the Lancashire. Okay, cotton polis of India, because large number of cotton textile, it's also known as Lancashire. It's a very important city in UK, where it has a large number of manufacturing units of cotton. So, Mumbai as Mumbai also has a large number of manufacturing units, cotton units, okay, cotton mills or manufacturing units, okay, it is also known as the Lancashire of India and Ahmedabad as I have told you another very important center in Gujarat, okay, which also has plenty of uh, cotton textile industries, which is known as Manchester of India. So, Lancashire, Manchester are important cities in UK. And these cities are industrial cities and it's been dominated by a large number of cotton textile industries. So these names have been given to uh, the important centers of uh, important centers of cotton manufacturing in India like Mumbai and Ahmedabad. Okay. So there are several reasons behind why Mumbai and Ahmedabad are important cotton textile industries. The first one is proximity to the raw material. That means these uh, cities are very, very close to an area where raw cotton has been grown. Because again, having said that again, uh, let me tell you that uh, Maharashtra ha is the leading state for growing of cotton. Gujarat is also a state which uh, grows plenty of cotton. So raw materials are easily available from neighboring regions. Okay, number one is that. Number two is climatic conditions. Uh, now, since these areas or uh, these states are closer to the coastal region, the climatic conditions experienced are humid. And humid climate is very important for cotton textile industry because in this industry, when there's uh, cotton, the thread has been spun. Okay, when this fiber, the lint has been made into a thread, when a spunning is taking places, okay, uh, you know, if the climatic conditions are humid, okay, then it uh, favors, you know, making of the thread. But if 
if the climatic conditions are not humid the thread tends to break and this becomes a disadvantage for the industries okay the next next one is the transport facilities since it is well connected with roads railways and waterways so easy transportation of raw materials and finished goods can take place it has port facilities also export and import can take place it can easily import machineries and all that so that is another important factor labor they have cheap labor supply okay coming from neighbor uh, neighboring states another one is mumbai and ahmedabad both are financial capitals of a country or a commercial centers of our country so there are a large number of financial units ready to finance this multinational companies or big companies okay therefore they they can easily get capital also another one is power supply e cheap and easy supply of power has been present okay and you know the state of maharashtra has higher generation of hydroelectricity which is much more cheaper for them uh, rather than bringing coal from afar from places so you have cheap supply of water okay from tata hydroelectric system okay and another one is kakrapara hydroelectric project also and nevertheless the most important factor is that market is easily available that means whatever uh, cotton manufacturing takes place in mumbai whatever cotton manufacturing takes place in ahmedabad the demand is very very high because this uh, goods can be easily sold in this market okay so these are some of the reasons behind why you find large number of cotton textile industries being developed okay or you'll find large number of cotton textile industries in the two states of our country that is gujarat and maharashtra and two important centers like mumbai and ahmedabad okay so but one thing that you have to remember is that when you bring about a difference between the cotton textile industry or the cotton goods manufactured in mumbai and ahmedabad one thing that you have to remember it's not been mentioned in the textbook but one region uh, reason that you have to remember is that the cotton manufacturing or cotton products that you have in mumbai is slightly expensive okay the goods that has been manufactured in in cotton goods that has been manufactured in mumbai is slightly expensive when compared to that of the goods the cotton uh, products that has been manufactured in ahmedabad or in other words i can say that the cotton that has been produced the cotton textiles the cotton uh, products that has been manufactured in ahmedabad is for the common people as it is much more cheaper and whereas the one which has been manufactured in mumbai is slightly expensive okay and it's mostly for export to the international market and there are several reasons behind why and one of the reasons okay one of the reasons behind why these differences are being present is because the land okay uh, the land uh, you know for, to buy lands and all before you uh, construct an industry the land is required so land is very very expensive in mumbai whereas the land is much more cheaper in ahmedabad this is one of the reasons behind there are like this there are several reasons so obviously when a cotton product has been manufactured in the end the price like for example if a cotton t-shirt has been manufactured the price that you pay for that cotton uh, t-shirt let's suppose if you pay around 1000 rupees for that cotton t-shirts okay that 1000 is for the entire thing from the time the land has been uh, purchased with the raw material machineries to everything has been included the cost of production or in other words the cost of production is high in mumbai because of everything that has been included and it is much more cheaper in ahmedabad okay so that's a difference that you have to remember okay now besides this there are uh, like uh, any other industry cotton textile industry also faces a lot of problems one of the most important major problem that has been faced by the cotton textile industry is the shortage of raw materials okay now cotton has been grown in plenty in these two states but in spite of you know a large number of cotton that is being grown there is still a shortage of raw materials now why there is still shortage of raw materials out here is that you know uh, first of all uh, this areas are not uh, maybe the areas are not this area where cotton is being grown is not making use of good quality cotton okay or it may be because of the differences in the climatic conditions sometimes you have a good yield and sometimes the yield is bad but one of the most important reason is that you know mm, uh you know after partition okay one of the reasons after partition the larger area where cotton was being growing went to pakistan okay that's also one of the drawbacks why the shortage of raw materials are taking places and uh, and another thing is that most of the uh, you know when you're talking the cotton textiles or cotton as a crop now remember in the previous classes when i was doing 
cotton as an agricultural crop. We've, div we've uh, divided cotton into two, three different categories depending on the length of the fiber. Okay, so long staple, medium staple, and a short staple. So medium and short staple cotton are being grown in plenty, but the long staple cotton is not being grown in plenty in India. It has to be brought from other countries in the world. Okay, so like uh, countries like Pakistan, Egypt, okay, uh, Sudan. These are the important countries in the world which has which is exporting cotton and India is importing it from these countries. Okay, another one is the sick industrial units. Okay, now remember. Most of the industry, most of the industries which is uh, using uh, cotton as a raw material for manufacturing are referred to as sick industries. Okay, because these industries are running at a great loss. The reason behind is because of lack of raw materials. The reason behind is because of obsolete machineries. And the entire, you know, the reason behind why these industries are running at a great loss or all have been categorized as a sick industry is because. You know, after partition, the larger areas where cotton was being growing went to countries like Pakistan, where good quality of cotton was being grown. But the number of mills, cotton mills that India had remained in India. So these mills which has been functioning till today do not have enough raw material. So these industries are running at a loss, therefore it has been referred to as a sick units. Okay. Uh, Another one is loss of foreign markets, uh, demand for cotton that has been grown in India. Of course, uh, we, are, we are selling it in the international market, but the demand is not very high because good quality of cotton is coming from other countries in the world. Okay, uh, And as I've told you, inadequate production because of, uh, you know, old and obsolete machineries that is being used, lack of raw materials, inferior quality of cotton, uh, shortage of power is also there, you don't have enough power, okay, that is there. And finally, as I've again told you, the main reason is because of old and outdated machineries that is being used in the country. So whatever production that has been there, okay, because of this old tools, uh, obsolete machineries that has been used, production is not very, very high. Okay, so these are some of the reasons behind why there has been a problem of cotton textile industry in India. But when you're comparing it, the production of cotton is still high and we are being able to sell cotton in other countries in the world. We have it in the higher demand in the international market. Okay, so with this we finish with the agro-based industries. So in my next class, I'm going to start with the mineral-based, the next chapter that is the mineral-based industries. Thank you.